Hello and welcome to Josie's Jungle Room. Guys, do you see what this is here? Can you believe it? I know, I have a problem, right? It's a box. And it's a box opening. You see there's a new baby inside and it's a girl. <laughs> Can you believe it? I know <laughs> I know I was just talking about this, but this is one I ordered before um I went on the budget. Okay, and I have a couple more little babies coming too, and she happened to arrive today. She was all wrapped up really nice in bubble wrap and with this pretty pink bow around her, but I just thought instead of having you guys see all that, I would just go ahead and take that off and have her like this. So as you can see, she's a preemie. She's a tiny little one. She's a tiny little one. <laughs> And she has a diaper on her head, so you're not going to know exactly who she is yet. And I was shocked when I opened this box because I didn't think she was going to come with anything. And I know I say that often, but she was really not a high price at all. She was a really, really good price. And I didn't think she was coming with anything other than the clothes on her. And then they said, yeah, she has a nookie. They said she was going to come with a little nookie. And look at how tiny that little nookie is. She's just a tiny one. So I didn't have, so I have mini dolls and then I have like 17 inch, which is more like newborn size, but I don't have any preemie size. So she, and then I have my elf baby. So she's a preemie doll. And as you can see, she's a tiny, tiny little one, you guys. And I, uh, I don't know. My husband understands, like, I'm a collector of things. I want to have different types of things. And I ordered her before I ordered the other baby that he said I could get, even though I am on this budget because it's a different kind of doll that I don't have. And then that's it. Then I have two more ordered that are already going to be coming. And then that's really it, you guys. That's really it. But um, today... Before I show you the baby, I did we did go thrifting, and I'm going to show you a couple things that I got. And this was so amazing because both of the babies that um, I have coming, or two of the babies I have coming, are preemies. And I found some preemie stuff. This says Pretty Little Princess, and then there's some little pants with it. So this, and I know you guys have seen this shirt before, I'm sure, but this is a preemie size. And then these little cute little pants that come with it. And guys, I found two sets. So I found another pair of pants. These still had the tags on them and everything. And they were such an amazing price. Then this one has this onesie with it. So they'll be able to twin. Not exactly the same because they have different tops but the same pants. One of them can have this little hat on. And then this also... Um, says the princess has arrived just really cute stuff and I was like oh my gosh it's just perfect like it's meant to be like the universe knew that I was getting this baby and that this baby was gonna need some preemie clothes so that was so amazing and I got this stuff I don't know what this is but um well there was a card I saw a card where did the card go sorry guys um there was a little card. Oh, here it is. There was a little card with it. And it says, oh, cute. It's got little balloons on it and glittery little heart or stars. See, I said hearts and it's stars. Dear Josephine, thank you so much for your purchase. I hope you enjoy her as much as I have making her. Best witches. Um, oh, I'm not going to. It says who she is and what her date of birth is. She was just born June 26, you guys. She was just finished, June 26th, and she was reborn by Tanny Clough, um, Heaven's Treasures, so Heaven's Treasures, and I know one of my Dolly friends was saying how much you should really open the whole box and everything on camera. I've never returned a doll. I probably never would return it all. It would have to be, like, horrible, and, like, if I spent a whole bunch of money on it, but she was a really good price so I'm I'm not worried about that but let's open up and see what came with her these little packages it's got an elephant and a lion a hippopotamus and a monkey and a giraffe she must know that these are being sent to the jungle room huh baby <laughs> oh cute oh it's a little diaper 
It's a little diaper. This is cute. It's a little panda. Oh, there's two little mini panda diapers. Those are really cute. I've never seen ones like that. That's cool. So she has some changes of diapers. Very cute. Let's see what's in this one. This one is... Oh, it's a little hat. It's a cute little hat. She's a tiny, tiny little one. And she, um, oh yeah, just a cute little white hat for her head to keep her little head warm. Although she's like, Mommy, when are you going to take me out of here? I can barely breathe. This one's kind of bigger. Oh, it's a little blanket. It's a cute little blanket with rainbows on it. A soft little blanket for her. One more. Oh, oh, another cute little. I like these little hats. Oh, that's so cute. Look at it. It's got like little hands holding a tiny baby on this cute little gray hat. And then a cute little gray bow. I'm guessing to match her little outfit here. Yes, because in the picture, um, she had the baby with this on. So let's see who it is. You guys want to see who it is? My sweet little. She's tiny, you guys. She's so cute. So tiny. Let's see who it is. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, look at her cute little face. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh, it's little Megan. It's little Megan. She is so adorable. She has rooted lashes, painted hair. Her little vinyl feels really smooth, too. She is so soft. So soft and sweet, you guys. She's so cute. You are so cute, little mama. Let's see if this little hat fits on her head. This is so cute. Oh, my goodness. I see everybody with their little preemie babies, and I'm like, I want a preemie baby. My husband is like, if you want a preemie baby, then you get you a preemie baby. Right, baby? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> El, doesn't she look cute you guys she is so cute oh my goodness she is so sweet let's see about that little nookie okay let's see how she looks under here so i'm gonna take off her little pants so again she's the megan um asleep from bountiful babies She's a little preemie, a itty bitty little one. Oh, and look at her little feet. Oh, look at her little toes. They kind of curl to the side. And you can really see the veins. You know how in tiny little babies you can really see the veins in their feet especially? Oh, and in her legs. Oh, and this one, she's got her little toe curved and bent a little too. That's so cute. She is so cute. She's got full limbs. Yeah, you can really see the veining. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but you can really see the veining in her little legs and her little feet. She is so sweet, you guys. Oh my goodness, you're such a cute little baby girl. You guys, I decided I'm going to name her Gracelyn. Gracelyn, that was the name that um, my oldest granddaughter almost got named. But she didn't end up um, sticking with that name. They were thinking about it, and then they changed their mind. Um, but her middle name is Grace. And Gracelyn kind of reminds me of Graceland, where Elvis, you know, has his home. Oh, yeah, she's got a lot of veining in her little hand and in her little arm. Oh, yes, all kinds of veins in there. What an amazing paint job. And actually, let's look at her little hair. Oh, her hair looks so sweet and precious. Just soft little wisps of light little hair. Well, actually, like a brown color. And her eyelashes are rooted. And just little faint little eyebrows. She is so cute. This little hand is really balled up with a little finger sticking off to the side here. Again, her vinyl is really soft too, you guys. Oh my goodness, she is so precious. So precious, aren't you, baby? Little Gracelyn. And look at this little hand. She's got a lot of um, 
a lot of character in her little hands. And all these veins, I mean, really, she's got more veins than any of my babies, I think. You are so cute. Oh my goodness, my cute little Graceland. So I can't believe you guys that I didn't mention how much I love Elvis in my last video when I was talking about celebrity crushes. I mean, Elvis, love Elvis. He is, he was, well, was, because he's deceased, but as we all know, he was so handsome. I mean, so handsome and just charming. I mean, everything that I've seen about him, he was so giving to everyone and just a beautiful man. I mean, I know he died of an overdose or whatever. A lot of people have things that haunt them in their lives and bad things that happen to them. And, you know, he had a drug problem and he had personal issues, but he was still a kind person and so talented. I mean, we've gone to see an Elvis impersonator two or three times, maybe even four how many times do you think? At least three. At least three, for sure. And then maybe with an ensemble with other people. Oh, we saw Fat Elvis, too, in Vegas. So five. five. Yeah, five. Five different times. And, I mean, they're just amazing. And he's got so many songs. I mean, from fast songs to slow songs to... And the song that we danced to at our wedding, uh, for our wedding dance, was Love Me Tender. But it was the version... Um, that also was with his daughter. So it was like a collaboration between his daughter, Lisa Marie, and then um, himself, a really cool version. Um, and we had bubbles all around us when we were dancing. It was so romantic. And the fire, and it was lightly snowing outside too. It was just amazing, an amazing moment. But um, Elvis, love Elvis. I've been to Graceland three times, but I've only gone through once fully. My husband has been five times, right? My husband has been five times and you've gone through three times, right? Yeah, he's gone through three times. He's nodding his head. Um, <laughs> but I mean, Elvis, I love Elvis. Love, love, love Elvis. And um, I cannot believe I forgot to mention him. I listen to Elvis, I don't know, Probably not every single day, but many days. At least a couple of his songs. Like, we have little... Doesn't that look cute? Doesn't she look cute with her little arms up like that? Like, she is just knocked out. She is so cute. Oh, my goodness. But um, we have little figurines. And actually, I can run and grab you one. Hold on. So these are actually Christmas ornaments. Uh, we also love and collect Christmas ornaments of all types, but all of these do play music as well. So we have these in different places in the house and my husband or I will push them at any given time just to hear a little bit of Elvis. But I'm gonna play this one for you very briefly. You guys know this song? It's Viva Las Vegas. We love Vegas too. We love Vegas. And then this here is a picture of the two of us at one of the impersonator shows. We actually had him. We bought his picture because we went to his show at least twice. I think we went to his show twice. He was awesome. And his show is called All Shook Up. And um, he autographed the picture for us, and he took a picture with us. So it was amazing. And also in Graceland, or at Graceland, there is a collaboration of people's pictures. You could, like, pay, I think it was $25, for a part of your picture to be put into this big picture of Elvis. Um, so if you look at it really closely, you can see our picture on there making a picture of Elvis. We're, like, in his hair, like, on the corner of his hair. And I, it's a huge picture, um, and I'll show you that at another time probably, but it's amazing, amazing, and we love Elvis. I mean, we've been to anything Elvis related that we can think of. At Christmas time, we have a blue Elvis tree that's all full of Elvis ornaments, and we were thinking of getting that thing from the Bradford Exchange that's like a replica of his house with the car in front of it and the Christmas tree and all that. I mean... We love Elvis over here. We have um, other Elvis figurines. Um, yeah, I cannot believe that I didn't have him as part of my celebrity crush. Another one that I just want to mention briefly, 
Because thinking of Elvis, you have to think of Uncle Jesse. Now, when I told my husband Uncle Jesse, he was thinking I was talking about Uncle Jesse from the Dukes of Hazard, And he was like, really, baby? And I was like, no, not that Uncle Jesse. That would have been shocking, huh, baby? <laughs> no, it was Uncle Jesse from um, Full House. Uncle Jesse from Full House. I mean, who doesn't love him? That's John Stamos. You know, and he always, you know, kind of acted like Elvis and liked to sing and play the guitar and stuff and would always compare himself to Elvis. And so I had to throw him in there because he's on the list as well. But I just wanted to let you guys know um, about my new baby. And thank you so much for watching my channel. If you like my videos, hit like and subscribe. I would love to be friends. Oh, I did want to mention one other thing too. I'm getting an influx of people asking to be my friends on Facebook, like 10... 12 a day lately um i'm accepting all the women and then i'm like you know i mean guys can like dolls too you know maybe they just really want to look at my dolls i do have a couple of dolly friends um that are men which is great i think it's awesome but some of these guys are like sending dms like hey pretty and you know like hey how you doing baby you know and i'm like Come on, you know, this is my dolly page. So I'm going to be updating my picture with my husband and me in the picture together with some of the babies. So everybody knows that I'm taken and I'm happy to be friends with anybody who wants to be friends. What did you say, baby? <laughs> <That> sounds funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, I just, I don't like that. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I can always just delete the person or whatever. But if you see, because like on my regular Facebook, I always have a picture of myself and my husband. So everybody knows, you know, oh, this person is obviously with somebody and they're not going to try to talk to me otherwise, you know, and um, that just doesn't happen on my other Facebook. Do you guys have problems with that? It's like, come on, you know, I, I mean, I know people are lonely and they want to meet somebody and whatever but i mean i you can tell my page is all about my dolls right i mean that's that's what it is that's what it is right my baby she is so cute you guys i just love her well thank you again for watching i really really appreciate it i appreciate your friendships i appreciate everything now i'm gonna take some time to watch some videos myself and to comment on people's and just enjoy my relaxing evening snuggling my new baby and my other new baby because he's brand new too my little jimmy he's brand new too he's like mommy you've been gone all day and he wants to snuggle too so we're gonna have to snuggle you guys together how about that if we snuggle together <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching my video i appreciate you so very much have a wonderful evening and what do we want to say we want to say Jungle love to everyone. Have a beautiful rest of your day.